Our Blue Ridge mom got in trouble, and the I only way, yeah, yes, she did. I'll do what I want. You did. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. Every time I do this type video, I've done this before, I get in trouble. I'm not the one who should be in trouble. Blue Ridge Mom is the one who should be in trouble, but I'll end up getting in trouble. So if you're married out there, you know what I'm talking about, especially if you're a guy. <laughs> you make a deal with your spouse, right? We work at this together, and we've got a death pile in there, and I'll tell you what, we're going to get through that thing come, you know what, or high water before garage sale season, because I'm not going to pile stuff on stuff. And so the deal was no goodwill until that death pile is gone. And then I see goodwill bags in the back of the car. And you know how it is. Even though she made the deal, I'm going to be the one in trouble. I'll probably end up sleeping sleeping in the shed tonight. She should be sleeping in the shed. But I'm going to be the one sleeping in the shed. So I told her, all right, you can get out of it if you come and show us. At least show us what you got. And face the music. So, <laughs> Anyway, we got a lot of great sales today. And Blue Ridge Mama in just a few minutes. Let's take a look. If you've been watching the channel, any of the channels for a while, you know I'm originally from Southern California and I am a Rams fan. I know there's not too many of us out there. Apparently there's more Niners fans that showed up at the game <laughs> than Rams fan. But I, I've, I've never disliked the Bengals and a few recent, you know, uh, Cincinnati Picker, Shad Juice, Bengals fans. And I had a Bengals hat and I had to go dig it out. I'm like, you know what? It's going to sell right now if we list it. And it's so, and it, it should be in the back. It's a kid's hat. It's kind of vintage design. Let's see if I can grab it. I'm doing it this way. Yep, there it is. Kind of cool looking hat. You know it's old. I didn't reshape it or anything, but pretty cool little kid's hat. And I'm pulling this out. It just sold. I'm gonna do it first so I don't forget because clearly somebody's gonna want to wear that for the Super Bowl, and it should get there just in time for sure. At any rate. That one sold for, I think, $14 plus shipping paid, probably 50 cents or a buck. Been selling a few pairs of shoes every day lately, and it seems like that bin just stays the same. doesn't ever go down. This is one we picked up at the 127. I think I paid up for them. I think I even paid like maybe even $10. Le Coq shoes. The Rooster in French. Pretty good shape, though. I think one of the shoe strings was messed up, but the rest of the shoe was all right. 35 bucks for these plus shipping. And I don't know, like some kind of, there you go. Lecoq Sportif. Who the heck knows? $35 plus shipping. Picked up this uh, new mug. I just saw this tag on it and I'm like, oh, it looks like a tire underneath it. And I said, how much you want? And they said, three bucks. And I said, two bucks. And they said, sure. And I didn't even look it up. And I don't often look, you know, you take a risk like this. I'm thinking, you know, worst case scenario, I put in my booth and it sells. But I think it was pretty good. It sold for $21 plus shipping. And this is definitely not the kind of mug you can ship out first class. It's just too heavy. But $21 plus shipping. Not a bad little profit for a $2 buy. Sold some Tailspin die cast. And when I saw them, I'm like, these things are awesome. They're going to sell for really good money. $20, $25 bucks for sure. And Blue Ridge Mama said, nope, they don't go for that much. But I'm like... Man, I'd like to at least display them over here or something. I was going to put them out here, but they sold. And they sold fast, so maybe they should have gotten more than $10. But she says no. $10 plus shipping. And these guys right here, little tail spin. They're like, they're, I guess they are die cast. Look at that, heavy. Pretty cool, though. I'm uh, happy with the $10 plus shipping. It's all pure profit at this point right here. So a lot of rubber face dolls this last summer did pretty darn good and and we still have stinky winky over here we got this one over here that's 300 dollar one or somewhere around there i don't know what that one is and we sold off a bunch of them and paid next to nothing for them i mean dirt cheap for every single one we bought except for there were some yogi ones that my dad had bought and so we did pretty good and just sold another one and this is a pinocchio rubber face doll gunned most of them are gunned. You can see the tag right there, the little gunned tag on it. And this one's discolored, you know, it needs cleaned and whatever, but I don't know what I'm doing with this old stuff, so I just leave it the way it is. It's a little, you know, baby 
you know, hanging up, whatever. But that guy right there sold for $44 plus shipping. All right, Blue Ridge Mom got in trouble. And the I only way, yes, yeah, yeah, she did. I'll do what I want. You did. <laughs> the only way she could get out of trouble was come on a video and show me what she bought because I saw the bags in the back of her car. You hid bags and left <laughs> them in my car. And in my defense, I dropped things off. Off at the good, and you just couldn't resist going in. <laughs> we, there's, we're trying to get rid of the whole death pile before we go back. And you're I breaking mean, the rules. Like, this is like the third time you broke the rules. Then I can like shove it in the closet <laughs> and you don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what'd you buy then? Let me let me see what you bought here. So yeah, well, you weren't gone this long. Isn't, so you this had to be is quick. your stuff. Oh yeah, I want to talk about that too. Over there. Okay. This I don't know. I thought it'd be like Ray Dunn or something. So I did look it up. It's Lori C Mitchell. Okay. Little Halloween thing. Nine nine cents. Should go between like 25 and 30. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. It was oddly cute. Oddly cute. It okay. caught my eye. Okay. Um, this I want to keep and wear because you told me I'm a crazy cat. Because you're a crazy lady. cat lady. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't. But I've sold sweaters from them before. The Quacker Factory. Mm-hmm. And like they're all flamingos. cats on there. Yeah, it's all cats. Yeah, this and is it's crazy bedazzled. cat lady stuff right here. And it's bedazzled. And the zipper. Like... <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did actually look it up in one, the exact same one sold for like $39.99 or oh, something wow. ridiculous. Thing. Okay. But I mean. So you're not going to wear it? I mean, I would wear it. <laughs> I mean, not like really like out in public, but I'd wear it. Okay. Maybe. Like, All right. Just to make fun of it. Oh, I just picked this up and Reagan's actually going to keep it. Actually, she got something on it while she looked at it. Just a little North Face kids no, jacket. for her. Okay. Well, I didn't. I didn't. She can wear it for a while, and it. then we'll sell it, right? Yeah. I didn't right. know she'd like it or not, because, you know. Tupperware. These are good. These look like they're brand spanking new. Yeah, I don't think anybody ever used these. A little set. Nine-nine cents? Yep. Each? Each. And then, yeah, we sell that in the booth for probably 15 to 20 sell or sell on eBay, because we got a set of three. Some plush. Harley Quinn. That's not anything great, but they're 50 cents. It has a tag. 50 cents. Yeah. Usually little, a little plush. Yeah, Avon. Like, this is from Avon. Avon plush. Plush somersaults. It's a little, it's fruit in an outfit. What is I it? Mean, a banana? Pear? Looks like a pear. Have you ever ate a banana that looks like that? <laughs> but she has a little bag. I don't know. It's adorable. Yeah. Some are on there for like $12.99, $13, $14. That what? Have for sold. 50 cents? That's good. Yeah. It'll sell they, they came with a mug or something. So if you ever seen one with its mug still, they go for like 25 Okay. All right. And this, I swear I had these as a kid. This is Hallmark. So that was the same. I'll probably do like nine bucks and something. Okay. Anyway, like I said, 50 cents. Can't beat it. This, I have no idea. I just bought this bag. A, thinking Turner would think it's cool. I like little They're ornaments. They're ornaments and it's, the hats are the NFL and the baseballs are oh. MLB. Well, put obviously. them all in a lot of them. Yeah, probably. Team. I guess. Oh, I don't know. A couple bucks? Yeah. Three, three bucks. bucks? Okay, yeah, I'll make some money off of I that. I thought Turner could pick out two. Even though I don't think they had either team that he liked. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, what else you got? The cost shirt. 2XL. 2XL. That's good. That'll sell. Yeah. Good colors on it. Some vintage colors. This one, I looked up when I was in there. I had forgotten. It's been a while. Yeah, skate. It's Nike. It's Nike. skateboard. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Mm. So it was really nice condition. That and the people Nike also. Nike skate one. Hmm. Yeah. That's going to sell. I like it. And not only that, the people gave it to me for the price of the shirt. So. Nice. Three ninety nine. Yeah. Not a jacket. And this. Was, referee yeah. Hat. And they go. New for, era. Yeah. Brand new attack. That's going to sell yeah. good. At least $15. Yeah. And that they're are they still good. 99 cents or are they charging $2 now for hats? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't look at yeah, that. Yeah, I think they raised their prices up to two bucks for us. I mean, we don't find great stuff there, but we get great prices. I mean, $13. Okay. That's a pretty good. <laughs> really good. I'm pretty happy about so, that. So, you can't be mad. All right, all right, oh, all right. I'm still mad, but not as mad, you know. But look, I got. It's easy stuff. There's nothing hard here. So no. That's good. And the clothes are. I gave you these clothes. You did. And you said, hate me. figure them out for me. What did you so, figure out? Well, for me? I found I bought them in a big bag of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously some I figured out because they had, which are not on top. Sorry, these I think were all handmade to probably fit Cabbage Patch size dolls because there's no, there's no tags in them at least, and some you could really tell 
I mean, somebody smocked the little dress. That's so cute. Like, that takes, that's a lot of work yeah. for this. So, there's some homemade stuff. But I do think it's Cabbage Patch size. Okay. Somebody, did, look at oh this. Oh, my goodness. Look at that thing. Yeah, Little so crochet. even, you know, you could sell it in a lot. Now, right? these, somebody will have to tell um, me. This is want, Teddy Ruxpin. open up the door for No, Pepper. she no. can just be aggravating. So, obviously, <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin. Uh -huh. And I think these go together okay because it's a little thing right where you open yep, up yeah, this yeah. battery right pack right and then this one <laughs> this is adorable <laughs> both teddy ruxpin both teddy ruxpin so i'll put that okay. in a lot and that probably should do pretty good like 20 bucks okay i would think cabbage patch some little pants and there was a where's that at maybe that yellow dress is got this one patch. at that church sale y'all this dress this is cabbage patch so okay. little little spots on there but i did see the original cabbage patch doll in this yellow dress was what 150. oh if yeah you had like yeah the doll so that's that might go pretty good then maybe we'll see mm, no, no. <laughs> not great <laughs> good enough to sell yeah i mean yeah so shoes back there yeah too. they're cabbage. they should fit a cabbage patch but yep. they look like you know i don't patch. know that pretty it sure is, they but they didn't have they usually weren't marked Usually. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure, like, what else With is it going to fit? Stuff, yeah. Right? Yeah. Then there are just some randoms, a Rainbow, Rainbow Bright. Bright, and that's like, I'm sure they that's had... That's the only thing I saw in that bag, and that's why I bought the bag. And I'm sure they had, like, a matching pajamas, because this was for the doll. Right. Yeah, and they make that pepper! Gosh. <laughs> and this one cracked me up, because it says, I love my pot belly bear, but apparently this day decor decoff or whatever it was made a pot belly teddy bear <laughs> and i just think it's hilarious okay anyway they made a koala bear too and i'm pretty sure i had that koala bear but there you have it folks okay well thank you you i appreciate it it's a lot Anytime. of work i'm not i don't have any I'm patience used to it. she has patience no, you give me all the little tiny things yes. and <laughs> i don't know what to do with you all but right. thank you baby you're welcome all right, so there you go. I'm, I'm in trouble, right? She breaks the agreement, and I'm the one in trouble. Did you get that sense? <laughs> she's, she's awesome. So, hey, maybe I should make a bed out here. I think at the next shed, I'm going to put a bed in it, just in case. Saves me a lot of trouble. <laughs> Sold another head cover. And I had already dug it out, because sometimes it takes me forever, and people don't like to see me dig. So, TaylorMade M4. That one sold for 16 bucks. Appreciate it. Headed back to the Texas bin. I have never been so happy in my entire life for a $7.50 plus shipping sale. This has been here forever. It was part of a learning experience with my son who was starting to resale years ago, my oldest son. And he bought these and he sold a bunch of them. And then when he stopped reselling for the time being, he just wanted to uh, either sell me some of the better stuff he had bought or wanted to give it to me. And I took these. And they just haven't sold. But they finally did. $7.50 plus. We put them on clearance. I'm just trying to get them out of here. To make more room. Because we're listing a bunch of stuff right now. Have our listings up over a thousand. Which is the most I've ever had. And I know a lot of people have a lot more. But that's pretty good for us. Junior Nation. Dale Jr. And it's just you know, a couple of flags. I think there's like a sunglass case there there should be one other thing like a beer like a bottle opener or something yeah there it is and so all of that they were 99 cents a piece one two three four five things so probably breaking even on it at this point but he did sell a bunch of it and made some money on it early but it just stopped selling so there you go i think we'd have been better off just selling something like that because these, you know, make it over first class and people don't really want these. But you know what? It's out of here. I'm happy. So another club head cover. And this one's going to a viewer. You don't sell too many club head covers to viewers. But this one did right here. It's going out to Art from Canada. So thank you. Hi, Kevin. I'm a subscriber to all three channels. Thank you. That's awesome. I enjoy your videos. Even though I'm not a reseller, I'm a retired social studies teacher. Cool. 
I love it. Thank you so much. And then he says, thanks for the history lessons. I'm sure you could probably teach us a thing or two. So Art, we do appreciate it. And hey, there's three channels, right? If you're new, it's Commonwealth Picker. This is Commonwealth Flipper, Commonwealth Auctions. And then really got to add a fourth at this point. Go over there to Trash to Cash Podcast. If you are a reseller, especially, and you want some company while you're shipping, you know, on a Monday morning or something, if you're full time or Monday evening or whenever, Sunday evening, go over to Trash to Cash Podcast and subscribe over there and check out the podcast. Maybe you like it. It's not everybody's style, but we're having a good time over there. Have another viewer sale. We had four viewer sales today, which is awesome. It takes us up. I think into the 20% range of sales for today. And whenever it happens, you know, we're, we're really appreciative. So thank you. And this one went to one of our favorite viewers. It went to Keith from Minnesota. He's the one who gave us this cabin, or who gave us this cabin, who gave us this sign for our cabin. Absolutely love it. And Keith, haven't heard from you in a while, and I'm glad you're still watching. Thank you so much, and thank you for the support. And let's take a look what you got. So you and Blue Ridge Mom have one thing in common. You love Garfield. And as you saw from Blue Ridge Mama in a video here a while ago, she has the sarcasm of Garfield. I think they're like, you know, the spirit animal or something. <laughs> At any rate, these right here, McDonald's toys, 1988. And they sold for 12 bucks, free ship. Thank you so much, Keith. Hope you're doing well up there. Seems like every day lately we've been selling one of those RC things uh, or something from Radio Shack. One of the things we bought in that big giant purchase down in Appomattox from Rich, Rich the Auctioneer. And we sold another one. This is my favorite kind of sale because it's multi-quantity. There was like 30 of these things or 40 at one point. And we're selling for 25 bucks a piece, which is pretty cool. Love multi-quantity. Absolutely nothing but, well... I suppose giant like thousand dollar sales but you know you have 40 of these things and you're making like 15 bucks profit a piece that's pretty good money in the end and we sold an enemy right here and like i said getting low lower and lower and lower on these enemy they're still so like crazy and this one went to nathan and he's excited by the way when you get these we throw in each of the big stickers two small stickers and a business card i don't know if i often say that but uh that guy right there is headed out to Nathan. I gotta read this one off my phone because it wasn't on the purchase, but I did happen to come across it. So I'd say you're lucky, Nathan, you're lucky. <laughs> Usually, unless it's on the purchase, I don't read it, but I happened to click on this one and I'm like, oh, well, I'll read it real quick. So this is awesome. I finally got my anime and I've been a follower for a few years. Well, then you should have known you should have put it on. I better shut up. Your, your, your kindness is really appreciated. Been a follower for a few years now, and I will have a special spot in my shop right next to my shipping center. Is it one of these shipping centers? Maybe. I don't know. Thanks from the old paint factory, he says. I also have a question for you I think would help other viewers. If an I, I probably should have read this first here. If an item, now I'm on the spot. If an item sells in the range between $20 and $30 free ship on sold comps, Cost of goods is about a dollar and it ships first class. Where would you price it and why? If an item sells in the range of $20 to $30 free ship on sold comps, where would I price it? Hmm. And about 30% sell through rate. Okay, 30% sell through rate, $20 to $30 free ship. I, I understand the question now. Okay. So 30% sell-through rate isn't the worst I've ever seen, but it, it's certainly not the best by any stretch. I'll tell you what, and I need to do this video. I would probably price it at the higher end, like 27 bucks, somewhere right around there. And the reason I would do that is because I try to manipulate my title in such a way that I can get a few more searches in there when people are searching for an item that eliminates a lot of those. And then maybe at some point mine will show up because I'm top rated, you know, it'll show up, you know, all this feedback and whatever, and it'll show up near the top. If somebody searches for a word that I have that most other people don't have, and it'll end up selling for above the average, you know, and it'll eventually sell. And what's the worst that's gonna happen? You eventually have to put it on sale, you know, or you eventually have to drop the price. But that's probably about where I'd put it in the higher range. I wouldn't put it at 30, but I might put it at 27, 28, 29, something like that. 
All right, I have Pepper, and I've got Turner with me. Pepper, how you doing, girl? How you doing? Well, you want to say hi? You haven't been in here in a few days. She doesn't like coming out in the snow, does she? The other cats like hunting in the snow, but not Pepper. She doesn't like hunting. She says, I'm black. She says, everybody can see me out there. I'm vulnerable, huh? <laughs> All right, Turner, we've been selling off these cars for a while. It's about time we're going to consolidate. You know what consolidate means? Mm -hmm. It means take things from everywhere and to put them all in one place. So we're going to consolidate these two bins. Eh, maybe I'll wait another week or so. And we'll consolidate. You're chewing that thing, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More candy for you every day. Who'd we sell? Or can you talk? You don't want to talk with your mouth full? You're know. good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, who'd we sell? My name's not Chuck. My and... name is not Chuck. Now, why is he called My Name's Not Chuck? Because I think Lightning called him Chuck. When he was and all he's... arrogant and thought he was the bomb, mm -hmm. and he says, come on, Chuck, mm -hmm. or something. He's like, my name's yeah. not Chuck, because mm -hmm. he didn't treat those people real nice, did he? But then he learned his lesson, thanks, mm -hmm. to, thanks to Doc, right? Mm -hmm. And the king. Who else? Uh, Flown or Moan. Flown or Moan. $17 plus shipping, or no, $17.90? No, $17 plus shipping, $18 plus shipping on those. That's pretty good. Definitely enough for you to do, do save, what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. Bye. Did something we haven't done in a while, which is double double sell something. So sometimes when you're working with somebody else or, you know, you know, I, sometimes I'll take pictures and I haven't hung something up yet or she'll take pictures and haven't hung so, something up yet, you know. And I think both me and Blue Ridge Mama listed this, or maybe even Bubba's girlfriend, but I, I think because one of them sold way back in December, and she wasn't really helping out at all. I, I think that's what happened here. And so it was a viewer, Steve, so long-time viewer, he says. And so I feel bad, but he says he was just buying it to say thank you to us. And so what we're going to do, if it's okay with you, I, I've already sent you a message, but I just want to say this on here, just because... You know, I, people shouldn't feel bad when you make a mistake. If you make an honest mistake, it happens. And, you know, how you deal with it, I think, is key. You don't want those strikes against your account. And you also don't want to just say, you know, hey, it, they wanted to cancel it and whatever. So I like to do things like this. And I'm going to attempt, you know, hey, buy anything else from my store or whatever. In this case, you know, we've got a merch store. So I'm going to bribe Steve out there. Why don't you uh, tell me what size... Uh, what size shirt you want and we'll send you a shirt and then I'll give you all your money back on top of it just as an apology so hopefully Steve you take me up on that <laughs> any rate this one here this is some Mary Kay lipstick $15 free ship also sold a VCR which is awesome I'm trying to get through I normally have them all done most of them all shipped out and sold but I've got a huge pile over here that I'm still getting through but this whole thing is being redone next time you see it doesn't matter to you. I never let you see this side anyways. I'm a neat freak if you haven't figured it out. And there's a couple messy spots in my reselling business. And I just try to keep them secret. But I do have them. <laughs> and this one right here isn't going to be a messy spot anymore. Everything's going to have its place. Everything's going to run efficient. I'm putting shelving in. This is a tiny room. I could almost, if I touch this wall here... And I stick my foot out and stretch. I could probably touch... Eh, maybe not. I'm kind of short. But it's maybe... I don't know. S probably not 7 feet across. And it's fairly deep. I don't know. Maybe 15 feet. And this is a pretty small room. But we make it really efficient. I used to operate the entire business out of this room. With the exception of incoming inventory. And so we would have to process quick jam stuff everywhere i mean in the rafters we got stuff going on like crazy here but i'm happy to finally get some proper shelving in here and this little uh, guy's headed out it's a zenith and it's tested and working i test all of these all the time and uh, make sure they're working before i ship them out and most of the time have no problem every once in a while somebody says something doesn't work and i say well ship it back and then they usually don't. <laughs> Third, not huge money on that VCR, but they're easy to pack because I've been doing it for so long. I'll get that thing packed up in probably less than five minutes. Makes it worth it if you buy a VCR for, you know, three bucks. So for 34, it's worth it to me. I don't know. You let me know out there in the comments. Would you do that? I A lot of people are like, you know, I don't really want to do electronics. I don't like to do them either, but stuff like that, I just, I don't know. I feel like somebody out there needs a VCR and I need to be the one to sell it to them. I don't know if I've mentioned this on the Flipper channel, but 
A lot of people were waiting for these to come back in stock. So if you want to go over to badcatcoffee.com, you can grab one. If you use code COMMONWEALTH, they'll give you a 10% off. So I absolutely love this thing. And I love those folks over there too. They are awesome. So great people to support down there in Raleigh. Hey, quick thank you to Jeremy for, uh, <laughs> that just blows my mind. 30 pieces of the shed, 30 buy me a coffees over there, buymeacoffee.com slash Commonwealth. Jeremy, that is incredibly generous. I'm going to read your message. Hey, Commonwealth family, I know that buying a few pieces, a few, 30, a few pieces of the shed. Y'all, in case you don't know, that's $2 a piece. That's $60. At any rate, I know buying a few pieces of the shed will never repay all the knowledge that you've shared with myself and others over the past couple of years. But I felt that I needed to make another small, t another small donation towards the purchase of this new shed to try at least pay back some of the generosity that I've seen you all show. So, wow. Once again, thank you for getting me interested in reselling and for all the reasons uh, and and for all the lessons you are teaching through YouTube. I don't even know what to say, Jeremy. Thank you. You know, I, I say this all the time, but I, I mean it. And, you know, it, our lives have been changed by you in a far greater way than we have changed anybody else's lives out there. And so we're incredibly grateful. And uh, we try to teach our kids and we try to give back in many different ways. But every every single time we do that, it seems like just more comes our way. And, and you guys are amazing. So, Jeremy, thank you. And I could talk about this forever, but people don't want to hear it forever. So I'm just going to say thank you to Jeremy. And we can't wait to see you next time. Hey, no sales out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store, which means we get some Commonwealth comedy. What do you think? Yeah. You got one? Mm -hmm. All this right. one actually kind of relates to me. Uh, what do you call a short person that waves? What do you call a or, short person yeah, that waves. waves? Okay. A microwave. <laughs> I'll have to tell that one an NC bigger. Thank you, baby. Bye.